What is up, kids? Today, we are going to reduce lag and improve gameplay in Minecraft Bedrock. Let's get right in with it. Every day we eat small day, every day. Small we eat every day. Number one. Okay, kids. So, anyways. Today, we are going to, as I said, we're going to reduce some lag. So the first way you can do this is just by optimizing your settings. So go to your menu, go to your settings, and then go down. Mine looks a little different because I have Lunar Client. So go to your video settings. And so you can like turn all these things down. I, I, don't, I would say leave your brightness up, but you can turn your render distance down a bit. This basically affects how many chunks you have loaded in. So if you're like doing a speed run where you're in the nether, you'll want this all the way up. But for now, let's just turn it down to eight chunks. You can turn your max frame rate down. I wouldn't recommend going all the way down because that's 10 frames per second. That's not going to be very much. So we could leave that maybe at like 120 or a little less. Anti-aliasing. Turn this down a bit. And fancy sky. So as you saw, it, it makes like the sky look fancy. So then that also turns off render clouds and fancy bubbles. And smooth lighting. So let's just turn all this off and you can see what it looks like. That, that's a big difference. Remember? And remember how there was a jungle over there? Can't see that anymore. But it's definitely a lot less laggy now. Number two. Okay, so number two. Once your world gets really big and there will be a lot of, like, items on the ground, all those little entities, they affect how well your game runs. So if you want to delete them, what you can do, you can go into, you might have to go into, you'll have to go into creative mode for this one. What we can do is get ourselves a command block, and if you don't know how to do that, it's really easy. Go slash give at s command block, and then you get a command block. And then we can just put it down and do kill at E bracket type equals item and bracket. Just type in item. And then like we throw these things down, then it'll kill them. So that'll make our game a little less laggy. And if you want to turn that off, what you do is you can go game rule command block output false. Okay. And so then it, it, it'll just stop doing that. So as you see, these are going away. And say like you're in a survival world. And if you say you drop like your sword or something, you can make the ticks a lot larger. Like you can make it 10,000. And it'll take a long time. So you'll have time to pick up your sword or, or whatever. Okay, let's get in with the next one. Number three. Okay, so... This final method, what you're going to do is, I don't have time to explain it completely, but you're going to want to download Amulet, okay? This is like a world editor, and you can delete a bunch of chunks with it. So, I will just, give me a second, I'll go into it. Okay, so, once you get Amulet opened up, it'll say open world, and most likely you're going to only have Bedrock. But if you're like me, you also have Java. So you can go into your bedrock. And then here's the world we were just in. And then we just open it. It, it may take a second and it may say not responding. Just just let it do its thing. Yeah, and once you get in with it, I, my monitor is so small that I can't actually see the size. So I have to go like this. And then you have three editors. Okay. This is just kind of a brief overview of what you can do with Amulet for the world editor purposes to delete chunks. Here we go. Create. Okay, setting up renderer. Okay. So once you get in, we can see that here's the command block. And this is about where the that drowned was. So if we go into chunk, like I said, this is just brief. All these chunks have been rendered in somehow just by me, like, looking around. So what we can do, if we're in chunk. What we want to do, we're in the T 2D mode. So let's scroll all the way out. It's a little laggy. You know, this world is very small. I just created it today. So what we want to do, let's just, like, delete all the chunks, okay? We can see there's a village over here. Now, there are a lot of things you can do with this. 
but I'm just showing you how to delete chunks. So we're just going to go like this and delete every chunk, okay? Just deleting everything. Okay, and we selected it all. Now we're going to delete all the chunks, okay? And okay, here we go, creating undo point. It always has to create an undo point. That can take hours. I, I say that from experience. Now, so we were about right here. So what we can do, we can save it. So once we save it, we have to close out of Amulet. And this is open. Do not close that. So close out of this. And then we go into Minecraft. There it is. But we're going to close out just to make sure it updates it. Okay, so now that you're back in Minecraft, we can go into single player. And there it is. Before, it was like 3.6. Now it's down to 0 0.32. So we can go in. So all those chunks should be deleted. So therefore that command block should not be there. Okay, so we spawn in. And notice how that command block is not there. So that command block was deleted. Okay, it's, it's, it doesn't exist anymore. And see how like those chunks are kind of loading in? So that means that they're, they're coming in. And so that means those are the chunks we deleted. So yeah, that's just like a... Very brief overview. I'll link a video in the description. I might eventually actually like, do a video on how to use Amulet and stuff. So yeah. Thanks for watching, kids. I hope you had a good day. And I hope you enjoyed this. Kind of new to gaming videos, so if you wouldn't mind, a, a subscribe would really help me out. It it's free. So yeah, anyways, bye.